Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing Medieval 2 as the Turks going up against the Byzantine Empire. Now, at a first glance, this doesn't look like a disaster battle, does it? I mean, that balance of power seems fine, right? But let me tell you, this is a really bad situation to be in, because I can overcome the odds if I can command my units. The problem with this situation is that I can't really do that, because they've used spies to open the gate. And what that means is that you get no time to deploy, the units are going to be randomly placed around the battlefield, and the enemy, because it's got a lot of cavalry in there, they will rush straight for the town square. Which means if we don't have our spears in there, which by the way, none of the spears will be automatically placed there, um, you're not going to be able to repel them. And because these guys are going to be placed up on the walls, we're not going to be able to take them off the walls without getting caught by the cavalry and then routing. Because our general here is not amazing. Anyway, let's jump in here and see what we can do. But this is one of the worst situations you can find yourselves into. The thing is here, he should have sallied out against this opponent. He would have had no problem, I think, taking it out. But you've allowed yourself to get strategically screwed by, by being passive, essentially. Okay, so spawn of a jackal has opened our gates to the enemy. May the traitorous dog find no peace. Alright, so let's have a look at what we can do here. Let's have a look at where everyone is. Ugh, it's, yeah, not good locations at all. Alright, starting with this archer unit, all of these cav are gonna move around the side here. If you could stand there, maybe you can shoot behind them as they come in, maybe. But yeah, I really want to get these spears into the town square. But if we just run, it's not going to work. These Armenian cavalry, they we have no means to hold them back here. Okay, I got a bit of an idea. We have to do a bit of a sacrifice. Okay, we'll get as many spears back to the town square as I possibly can, right? So this one, I've got two units there. Get them off the walls. This one here, get it off the wall. No, 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 no. You run back to the town square. You, um, yeah, what I'll do is try to sally out a little bit so that it just is difficult for them to get a lot of kills really quickly. Just buy us some time because if we just run everyone back here, they're going to open things up really quickly. I'm going to need to bring the general up here to keep them in line because we're basically sacrificing that unit to get these two back here they need to move as quickly as possible Actually, use a double click i find that they follow those orders a bit better i find no not that one and where's this one oh god that's even worse they may have time to get from here to there in this kind of battle. There's, there's not enough time for that. You're going to have to go around the other way, but that's where the general's going. Problem is here, it's not the fact that these are anti-cavalry. It's, it's the fact that their morale is garbage. So even if they go up against cavalry, they're just going to be chicken shit scared. But that's why we need to get him over here. That's really bad. I don't know what to do with that unit. It's not going to have enough time, but I'll bring it around this way. I just, I'll see what I can do with it. Maybe it'll just try to hold back. I don't know. That's really bad. Okay, as for all of these guys here, just stay into the town square. I don't know what else I could do with you, but yeah. Doesn't look good at all. Because yeah, they can just run in straight through the, um, through the gate. We don't get boiling oil in vanilla. So yeah, like I said, they just come straight at us. So go stand right there, guard mode. Unfortunately, we don't get skill trim with these guys because they're not good spearmen. And just try to get them to hold on as long as bloody possible. Come on, dudes. Come on, I need you to hurry up. I'd normally love to get my cavalry out and harass them, but there's no time. They're, they're just going to come into town square. I can't prevent them from doing that. Yeah, they do this thing where they pull right through, and if you've got overwhelming numbers... You, you've seen me do this as well. This is how you overcome the numbers in this game. Or overcome, like, 
defensive units. And the AI does it. That's actually how I learned how to do it, because the AI fucking did it. Shit, it's actually kind of holding. Uh, okay, maybe charge into them, because they're shaken. The enemy general hasn't come in yet, and it looks like... Possibly... Possibly... Mm. <laughs> no, General's gonna have to hold that position. Come on, you guys need to just buy them some time to get back in there. I need the spears inside the town square. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, this guy here, he's not gonna make it back. Hold them back for us. Guys, I gotta get the General out of here any moment now. Come on, get in there, get in there. Fucking, you gotta listen to my fucking orders, man. Worst thing about Medieval 2 is how unresponsive the units are. Alright. Get them back. Okay, three units of our spears made it made it into the town square. Honestly, I'm fairly happy with that. I, I wasn't even expecting that many would make it. And our general didn't take too much damage. He's shaken. Hopefully we killed a lot of those... Yeah, a lot of that shit. Um, hopefully we killed a lot of the Armenian cavalry. Mm, no, not really. Hang on, you need to stand there. We need to go stop these horse archers here. Oh, that is really friggin' good. Really friggin' good. Let's see how these snakes fight without their head. Okay, that's really good. They're all breaking. Killing the enemy general that early. Fantastic. I told you it was important to get the spears back into the city, town square. Okay, general, go and take out the Balkan archers. Look, with all of our guys now in the town square, all we have to do now is try to cause a rout. God, we have to make some tough calls here. Good. Okay. I'm feeling a lot more hopeful now because... Uh, the guy in the email said he got absolutely demolished, and I've been in this situation before, and I know how fucking tough it can be. You just don't have a second of bloody spare. You have to make super tough calls. Okay, I need you to take out those Trebizond archers. Hold them back over here. Actually, we might be getting a little bit too far out from the... the, the, uh, the town square there, because uh, we're not going to have unlimited morale if you push them too far back. But shit, I think we got this. And it was all just about that getting back to the town square as quickly as possible. And I think that that guy that we sent out of the gate initially made a big difference. All right, all right, don't worry about that one's not coming back anytime soon. Yeah, this archer was never going to make it back. Oh, they've sent guys up on the wall to go and fight it. Which, they might actually break. Yeah, if you go over there, they might actually break. You might be able to save it. Okay, well, we've still got a big blob of them coming in over here. What we needed to do is just wait for the right time to strike and cause a mass rout. If I could... Oh, i got another idea. Let's get these guys around... Oh, man, it's got to go the long way around. Did we break them? Yes, we broke them. Cool. Our archers broke as well. That's fine. Get these guys around the back of their force and we'll charge into their rear. Yeah, you hold them back as well. Might as well run down a few of them. Okay, okay. Feeling hopeful. Feeling hopeful. Yeah, because this is how we would have deployed to begin with. You know, if they were going to um, <laughs> immediately capture the gates. Obviously, if you can prevent them from capturing the gates, then the cavalry can't just charge in. Shaken. Enemy are Just wait for the Sapahis to get around their back. That's when we charge in. With everything we've got, mass route them. Oh. One of the problems with changing your, um, your game to WASD with this for controls is that every now and again I'm pressing Alt to use Alt Attack with um, 
but them. Because if you hold down alt, it changes it from missile attack to melee. And I'm using WASD to move. And if I hit alt and S at the same time, it turns off the sound. <laughs> Come on, hit him in the rear. Okay, here we go, here we go. Big push, let's go. Because, yeah, it doesn't have a melee mode button here, so you have to use alt. Big route. We got this. We got this. Victory is well there we go. Only half our force remains. Alright, don't shoot anymore. Big, massive route there. They did it. Okay. I imagine that the guy didn't manage to get enough spears back here. The fact that we managed to get three, uh, what's that, 60% of our spear units back to the town square and the spears still got demolished was a fucking miracle. Absolute miracle, especially considering how far some of them were from the town square. The fact that one unit held out for even a couple of minutes against those Armenian cavalry was really good. And we obliterated their army, which means they're... T they're not going to get ransomed, by the way. <laughs> anyway, we're done here. 94%. There we go. Because, yeah. The, fu the funny thing with that particular scenario was that... If we didn't kill the enemy general, we would have lost. So that's why we had to get the spears in there. Because they were the only ones that had any chance of doing it. Because if the enemy general had charged into our horse archers, well, obviously they would have been obliterated. Reason us for profit. You are wise, Lord. Nah. No. <laughs> so next time, either put spies in your cities to prevent other spies from getting in there, or... Sally out when they launch uh, when they besiege the settlement, or you could just send it to me, you know, whichever. But yeah, if you put a spy inside of your city, it drastically reduces the chance for another spy to get in. If a spy is already in your city, then I think it might increase the chances of you kicking it out, but I'm not sure. Seems like a fairly passive campaign. Turn 45 and you got that much territory. Just want you to know that in 30 odd turns, the Mongols are coming. Okay. No, 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 no. Skip AI movements, what I meant. So, yeah, a bit of a passive campaign. There's nothing wrong with doing that. But you've got the Mongols coming fairly soon, and you're not super strong. Like,. Probably should have destroyed the Byzantine Empire by now. But, you know, that's, you know, from my standards, it's fine. I mean, I conquered the entire world in eight turns with the Turks. But, you know, that was heavily exploitative. But anyway, uh, overall, your campaign doesn't seem to be too bad. You are making, you're making pretty good coin. You know, that was a bit of a rough situation, but your army survives. So that's okay. I would heavily press your advantage now and go and take them out before shit really hits the fan. But there we go. Okay, so basically, if you find yourself in the situation with Medieval 2, which, by the way, is fairly rare for the AI to actually successfully open the gates with the spies, but it does happen. It's happened to me before, and I understand how painful it can be to have an army that should win, but then just loses because you can't bloody control it. Um, things to keep in mind in that situation is pause the moment the battle starts and focus on abandoning the walls, because when, if the spies have opened the gate, the walls are not worth anything to you anymore. Just focus on getting them back to the town square where you've got unlimited morale. That's really important. If you didn't have this general here, you, we wouldn't have been out. In fact, if we didn't have every single one of these units, except for maybe the archer, I don't think I needed that one, uh, we would have lost this battle. Some more spears would have been nice, but now you can build up your army again. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.